right people. It's been a minute. Let's just get right into it. So I took the wheels off. These are some, oh, they're still Mustang wheels. Uh, not sure what year they're from, but slapped them on. As you can tell, they're not thick at all. Yuck. Um, the reason I put these on is because I bought a new set of wheels and I sold my old Mickey Thompson's. Yep, so sad. But these new wheels are gonna be for the fender flare kit that I'm putting on this truck. And when you hear fender flares, I don't know, when I hear fender flares, I think kind of like, uh, you know, like rivets and the thing and like, you know, not seamless and it just looks whack. They don't fit right. No, these are gonna fit nice. All right, so let's start off with the doors. The doors, it's just the original door card off the truck. It came with manual windows and I converted to power windows right after. So you can see I put this little cover on there just to hide it as best as I could. So if you want to convert from manual to power windows, these armrests, I guess, are actually off the back seat of a 4Runner. So you just get the left and right side, they bolt basically right on. The same original screws there, it just has this extension outward where you can control the window and you could either wire it directly to the battery or wire it to some source that whenever you turn the key, it has power. I wired it directly to the battery, so once you get in, you can immediately lower the windows. Rolls up a lot quicker when it's on. <laughs> Next on this is, I guess the material. I got it at Joanne's Fabric, and that's what I use to wrap my door cards and also the center console. So, the speaker system, I know what you're thinking. Whack. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it was one of the first things I did to the truck. I just put a little six inch JBL over here, a little kicker tweeter. I'm definitely gonna be redoing that soon. Then we got the two six inches in the back, one behind each seat, so definitely slaps. I did a carbon fiber wrap over the top just because it looks nice. All right, well, let's go inside now. Boosh. All right, so as soon as you get in, Nardi, boom, right in your face. This is a 330 millimeter Nardi wrapped in leather with black spokes. Let's take this off. So this is an energy quick release that I strapped to this beautiful Nardi. And up next we got the NRG short hub. I didn't want to get the regular size one because it would come up way up to like here, the steering wheel. So I got the short hub. I've always been happy with this setup. All these lights are on, by the way, because I still haven't turned on the truck. Don't be like your oil temp or your gas or your voltage or your brake. It all goes away. So one of the first mods I ever did to the truck was this engine start button. I'm not sure why I was a huge fan of it. I got it in green so it matches the dash lights. Let's talk about the cluster. This is a cluster off a of 4Runner. Mine originally just had temp, speed, and gas. Those are the only three things that were on the dash. This has oil pressure, has temperature, it's got voltage, and it's got gas, RPM, and speedo. I really like the setup. It was just basically bolt on. All I had to do was mess with the ohms on the RPMs. Since it did come off of V6, I had to adjust them to meet my four cylinder. And there's a whole write up on that. There's a forum. If anybody comments about it, they want to learn more, I'll attach a link in the description. But let's definitely get rid of these lights. So what we do is we put it in the on position, which it already is. And then we just hit engine start. There she goes. Put it in neutral. All looks good. That brake light, take the brake off, goes away. So moving on to my rear view mirror. That's me, yeah boy. I wired this lead strip that I just basically got at O'Reilly. I wired it back here into here and got rid of this dome light. I don't really like it, was not bright at all even after doing the lead upgrade. But yeah, I just adjust it from here. When I open the door, it turns on. When I close it, it turns off. I could have it in the middle so it never turns on or on all the time. And it's extremely bright. But yeah, then we got this super seamless dash mat and I basically just got this because my dash was yellowing back here. Um, not really looking the prettiest. So I just got this dash mat. I literally think it's just called dash design. But look for dash design. It just has some Velcro tape and you just put it in certain parts where you want it to be flat. I got one here, I got one here, I got one here and it just looks super nice. Here I got my GoPro holder, uh, the Gapple Bees camera 
when I have the one UZ, I want to do reaction ride-alongs. And that brings us to my favorite part of this truck. You got your climate control right here. Truck never came with AC, so I just wired in this button. I guess I'll use that button to open and close the cutouts when I have the one UZ in here. And yes, this is getting a one UZ. Refer back to my previous post to see me picking it up and basically what I'll be doing. So then moving here to the left of that, we have a clock. Not really a big deal, but this truck never came with it. And this was basically take this off. There's a plug on the back, plug it into this new clock. Boom, you have a clock, right? So it was a pretty cool upgrade. But yeah, let's move on to the Sony stereo. This is by far my favorite thing of the truck. I got my music here. It's really quick too. I'll have a link to the stereo where you can buy it in the description. This stereo has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. I don't have an Android, just have Apple CarPlay. But you have your options here, your Bluetooth options. You have your tuner, Bluetooth, phone, rear camera. I don't have a rear camera hooked up to it because literally just look back and you could see the edge of the truck. So I'm not really tripping out about that. So if you click on Apple CarPlay, it'll basically just take you to exactly what you see on your phone. So you have your phone, maps, message, now playing, Google Maps, Spotify, settings, calendar, or just like a quick view of everything. You got your maps. If you wanna go get a food, if you wanna go get a drink, <laughs> um, and you see what song is playing right now. So here's just like a quick little shortcut thing to Google Maps, Spotify, but yeah, I'm not gonna play any songs, <laughs> but here you can just go to your library, like songs, these are all my like songs. Amazing, I love this stereo, 100%. The stereo also comes with a feature that if anybody calls me, I can literally just answer it on here and then talk through here. And this is basically a wire that I ran behind the dash, up through the A pillar, and out to my sunshade here. So let's talk about carpet now. I did have mats on it, I just took them off. The carpet is off eBay. I'm gonna have a link in the description of where you can buy this carpet. It basically just goes on and you just have to kind of trim the edges depending on if you have a manual or automatic, you would have to make the hole here. Uh, just basically trim around the edges and that hole right there if you do have a manual. All right, so this brings me to the mats I have in the truck. And these are basically off the same website, eBay, that I got the carpet off of. These are just made to fit on the truck. You just type in whatever year you have, Toyota pickup. I'll link a description. I put this on here temporarily because this started happening. You know, a lot of heel action going on there. This brings me to the seatbelts, and basically why I got red is because I feel like the interior needed a little splash of color besides it just being all black. So I feel like this did the trick. They are off seatbeltplus.com and they're basically bolt-on. And they also have about like 50 or 60 different colors you could choose from. They are pretty sensitive. So you gotta pull it slow, because if you go fast, they lock up. Perfect, we don't have airbags, so sensitive seatbelts are a plus. And also, when you have a big brake hit. All right, so this center console right here has to be my second favorite thing besides the stereo. This was custom built by my mom, dad, and I. My dad did the woodwork, my mom did the upholstery, and I basically just came up with a design. I wanted to cut out, obviously, for the shifter. I wanted a little space here just to put my wallet or my keys or my phone. So this is a five-speed, and I definitely had to add a Chasing Jay's little accent to that. So I got the five-speed titanium little piece. I don't know what you would call this. And it just gives it a nice little touch. So this shifter right here is actually a short shifter from LCE Engineering. What I did is I added the spacer that came with it and then I welded the little extension to the bottom of this. It's been about three years now, never had an issue. It shifts super crisp. You can hear that. Amazing, right? There's a verse. But yeah, the shifts are extremely nice. It's only about a two inch uh, movement from neutral to first or from neutral to second, any gear. All right, so I did want to get some exhaust footage right now for you guys, just so you guys can hear it. I did have a lot of people asking me, how does it sound? It's still the 22RE. It is gonna be a 1UZ. I already have that swap in a previous video. The only thing I'm doing now is sourcing a CD009 out of a 350Z, ordering a Collins adapter to adapt that trans to the 1UZ. So at this point in the 1UZ, I'm redoing all the seals, new alternator, new starter, new pumps, new all that stuff to refresh it, powder coat it, then we're gonna carefully drop it in. 
It will have about 300 horsepower, but keep in mind the truck doesn't weigh too much. We have no weight in the bed. So it'll be pretty interesting to see uh, just how quick this thing will be with a V8. So enough of that, I'll show you guys an exhaust clip and let's go for a ride. All right, so we are in the truck now and uh, let's go ahead and take this thing for a drive. I do have power steering in the truck. Um, it never came with it. I had to add it because turning 275s on a manual gearbox is horrible. So I'm just gonna drive this thing around town. You guys can kind of see through my body movement if uh, the ride's pretty bouncy. Um, I don't think so. I think it's pretty smooth. So one thing I want to mention is these are Corbo GTS2 seats and they are paired to a Corbo bracket basically. They have three different models for uh, this truck. And all you do is they send you a template with all three models and you just measure bolt to bolt and basically see exactly what bracket you need basically. But yeah, due to it having like a nice thick carpet with the mass backing, it's definitely a lot quieter in the truck. I want to say from stock, it's probably about 15 or 20% quieter. Um, it is an old truck, so it's going to be kind of loud. It does have the exhaust, so you kind of hear that in the cab. Little to no drone from the Black Widow 250 series. every time I drive and it's pretty cool so I have full visibility of my mirrors it did take me a little bit to get used to it but I'll never get rid of them they're perfect also by the way I am selling these brackets and I'll show you guys in a little bit basically they mount the APR mirrors to an 89 to 95 Toyota pickup as long as it's um, mounted on the skin you could just drop in these inserts and uh, you're good to go. All the hardware is included in screw covers, so I'll um, update the description live to how many I have left, basically. But I'll send them out to you anywhere in the US, and it does take about two days. It's a flat rate shipping, so uh, message my Instagram at bad underscore L-U-X to know a little bit more about pricing. It's not the best at handling bumps, but it's definitely better than uh, fully lowering the front on torsion bars because that hurts. See, here's a bump, handles it pretty nice. I don't know how that translates on video, but it's not terrible in the cab. I'm gonna bump a U-turn real quick. But yeah, dudes, thanks so much for joining me. Uh, if you made it to the end of the video, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. I am dropping my wheel reveal soon, so stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, guys, peace out.